Hey guys, we have our miter saw and in this video we want to explain to you how to replace the blade on one of these devices. So in this case we have here the Craftsman, but the process works pretty much in the same way for any other miter saw as well. This miter saw comes with a 10 inch blade, so we're going to replace it with a blade in the same size. Now the very first thing we want to do is to disconnect it from the outlet, because we really don't want this miter saw to turn on while we're replacing the blade. Next thing is to unlock the arm and then we have to remove the guard in order to get access to the bolt that holds the blade in place. So there's a small Phillips screw here on top of the guard and we're just going to remove this one. And after that we should be able to really simply move the guard up and behind the blade. Now we do have access to the bolt that holds the blade in place, but the blade is still rotating freely. And that's when we find this little button to the right of the blade, this one here. So we're going to press this one and then we're going to rotate the blade until it locks in position. In order to remove the bolt, we need a half inch wrench. But in order to remove the bolt, we do need to know that in this case, the bolt rotates clockwise in order to remove it. So here the rule righty tidy does not apply. In this case, righty makes it loose and lefty it makes it tighter. After removing the bolt, we find a big washer, which we also remove. And then we can already pull off the old blade. And behind there, we're going to find another washer that we can also remove, inspect and clean in case it is dirty. And before placing it back, I'm going to add a couple of drops of oil on it. Next, it's time to install the new blade. And we have to make sure that the blade is installed in the right orientation. So you see this little arrow printed on the side of the blade and it has to be installed in the direction that you see here in the video. As we're putting on the new blade, we may have to wiggle it around just a little bit in order to get it on here. And then of course, don't forget to uh, put the first washer back on. Also here, I added a couple of uh, drops of oil before cleaning it. For one here, we have to make sure the washer is oriented in the correct way. And also the hole on the washer is kind of oval shaped. It's not just round. You have to make sure that it really goes on nicely and sits on there. And then it's already time to put the bolt back on. Remember right in this case now, counterclockwise is going to be the way that you want to turn the screw or the bolt in order to get it on. And then also tighten it with that half inch wrench. And also don't forget that you may have to push the button to the right of the blade again in order to stop it from rotating. Of course we don't want to forget to put that guard back into position. And then also to uh, put that screw back on. And that was already it. I hope you found the video helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below.